Good morning, everybody, and welcome to This Week in Dioramas. I am your host, Tech Chucker. If you aren't familiar with how this show operates, every week I go through Instagram looking for the coolest looking dioramas, and I showcase them right here on the show. Now, if you would like to be showcased in a future episode, all you need to do is upload your diorama pictures to Instagram and tag them with the hashtag This Week in Dioramas. Now, we've got an amazing showcase lined up for you this week, but before we get started, I want to do something fun, something lame. I already know. I know it's going to be super lame and I don't even care because I just want to do it. I want to see if you guys are paying attention, if you're watching, and I want to do it. I've always wanted to do it. I like it when other people do it. I'm going to do it. So we're going to do a scavenger hunt through the video. That means that you're going to have to pay attention throughout the video to get the secret message. I know it's so lame, but just bear with me. So throughout the video, I am going to post single words somewhere on the screen, be it here or there or wherever. I'm not even going to tell you how many words. And then when you've discovered all of the words throughout the video, post it in the comments below. You see where I'm going with this. It's like I'm tricking you guys into interacting in the comments on the video. I'm sorry. I know it's lame. So let's do that. We're going to have some fun. Let's jump right on into the showcase and I will see you after the show. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's just jump right on into the episode starting off with Sage JDG. This piece has been sold, so apologies for anybody that was hoping to grab this thing. It is amazing. His work is always so well done, so cleanly done. The paint is always so amazing. This is a school hallway. These lockers look absolutely perfect it is amazing and they're so okay i gotta look to see generic school hallway diorama great for yep 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 interior measures bup, 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 bup. i would love to know if you're happy if you happen to be watching did you make these or are these 3d printed would love to know a little bit more about this but i just really dig the way that this turned out it looks awesome i love the ceiling with the uh the the um what do you call it? The, they're not halogen. The, the fluorescent light effect that you've got there. A couple of great pictures. You can see the one from the thumbnail. I had to pick that. I love the movie. I can't wait for when they come out with the new movie. Uh, I, I'm just very impressed. So awesome job. Next, coming from El Chombo NYC. Good to see you making some more awesome dioramas. This is a, uh, let's see, what are we calling? We got the, uh, Let's start over. Uh, thank you so much for all the positive energy. Here's some more positive energy sending it your way. Um, let's see the McFarlane Mandarins or even the new Shang-Chi figures look amazing. I agree. So this is a dojo base. I love the way that this base looks. The the uh, sculpt work that you did with the tile kind of uh, stonework and then the edges. This is superbly done. I love that. You know, sometimes it's great to have the nice kind of straight lines on the edges, and it's also great to be able to throw in the nice effect of this kind of stone natural look. And you've got it so that this is coming up and really just framing it in and I love it and then the woodwork up here with the designs up there uh, I'm wondering if you got those 3d printed um, those little dragons because that's very very intricate I love it I love the colors it looks so good the nice little bits of green to add in there not too much dude you nailed it this is so well done what an awesome piece great job love all the details throughout just oh uh, so good next coming from dioramas cloud turn on the tv april show is about to start how many times have we heard that diorama let's see this diorama is with its happy new owner congrats awesome piece love this i love the little arch with the mesh that looks awesome tons of great little accessories thrown th thrown thrown it's a new word i, I just I just really love these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle dioramas. It's so fun. 
The colors have some richness to them, which is awesome. So great job on this piece. Next coming from Johnny Simpleton. So let's see, pretty much done with these junk built Star Wars inspired plastic pieces for the tiny art experiment. Again, I'm gonna try and keep reminding everybody about this, mainly because I need to remind myself to get at it, to start working on mine. Uh, this is for the tiny art experiment. If you're not familiar with uh, Jordan over at Euler's workshop, go check him out. Check out the tiny art experiment on Instagram. It is a group project and people are basically contributing to a giant diorama. And this is Johnny Simpleton's work for that. You've got some amazing pieces that he has come up with. And he just comes up with these amazing works of art using little pieces that he finds around the house or wherever, I don't know, and puts it together into these amazingly detailed pieces that look so realistic. And the paintwork on here is so good. So great job. We saw these, I think last week, he's got a couple of those but these I hadn't seen yet and so I wanted to showcase those because they are absolutely stunning looking I mean look at all the detail there god dang I'm okay so when I submit mine mine needs to go to the back for all the pictures and this stuff needs to come up front because it's so detailed oh my gosh next coming from sinister grackle completed completed i'm inventing words here left and right the completed scrapyard display diorama threw in a little easter egg that's guaranteed to intensify the euro beat okay so me being from the states i might not know if i even find the easter egg let's see if we can find it uh, while we're looking the paintwork on here is so good. I love the weathering throughout on all of these metal parts. And then your sheet metal, that paint looks awesome. It's just like years and years worth of different uh, graffiti tagging occurring. We've got some leaves and debris uh, in this parking lot sort of area. It's all kind of um, building up, which is awesome. I just really dig this piece. I'm not finding the Easter egg, but again, it's probably just the, well, the fact that I am from the States and you know us, we, we tend to just only care about the things that <laughs> the United States does. So I don't know what I'm looking for, but I do know that this is an amazing looking diorama. So great job. This one's coming from Papa Rez finished a Mortal Kombat Detolf display. Most parts are magnetized so it can be versatile. That is uh, a very big thing to do with your dioramas, especially if you build a lot and you keep them uh, and you have to store them. To be able to magnetize is very, very important. It looks like they're selling this. I don't know if it's still for sale or if it uh, has been sold. Check out this link on eBay if you are interested. This is a very nice looking piece. Uh, it, it's, it's, what am I, I'm trying to come up with the word. I, I was going to say simple, but it's not. It's unobtrusive. <laughs> and that, oh gosh, I should come up with better words. Basically what I'm trying to say is, is that this piece isn't overly in the way to allow for the figures to stand out. That's what I'm trying to say take that as a compliment because it's meant to be i love the uh, mortal kombat logo gotta know did you hand carve that is it 3d printed it looks like it could probably be hand carved uh, 3d printed would probably be a little closer to perfect with the lines so i think you hand did this gotta know i would love to know that really digging on the piece the green lights are definitely giving a, a green vibe to this i really dig the uh, tile work that you've got there and then the fact that you've got this little front piece to give it that extra depth which is very very nice so great job on the piece next coming from lounge.way uh, i showcased this last week but I wanted to take just a quick second to showcase this with these lights on. I didn't know it had lights on the inside. It looks so cool. It is awesome. So great work. I'm not going to spend any more time because we showcased it last week, but I wanted to show this because it looks super cool and it's an extra little feature to the piece. So great job. Next, coming from Diorama Boy, once again, another amazing 112th scale diorama, kind of a dis disused interior of a factory, measures 17 deep, 12 inches high, and 18 inches wide. I love the paintwork on here. The tiles look amazing. Love the lights. It's just 
Again, always such great quality of work. The weathering on here looks great with the little bits of uh, darkness that are kind of dripping down here, which is a nice touch. And obviously the accessories just bring the whole thing together, which is awesome. So whoever happens to buy this is gonna be super happy with this piece, so great job. This one's coming from Sama Dioramas. Oh, we should translate this. I don't, uh, ah, we're wasting time. Ah, I gotta get in there and, and translate it. Okay, buy some time. Come up with a joke or something, right? Nope, can't do it. Okay, so a lot of life outside of sewer scenes for our beloved Chelonians. Uh, introducing the WTRL, WTRL three channel parking, uh, parking lot of the 1990s turtle movie so this is a teenage mutant ninja turtles diorama i could have told you that with the tmnt there uh but it's the oh wtrl3 channel 3 uh back area and i have to say this is stunning the paintwork the sculpt work all of the details on here is just so well done there's so much to this piece i mean it's just spectacular i love the way that this sign turned out uh you know it's got the simple black but the the lettering is so nice and you can see some weathering throughout the little uh lip uh tongue logo thing or uh sticker it looks awesome i'm just i'm blown away by the quality of work you got a little sprite can and then maybe a old beer bottle or something it's just the paintwork is superb the accessories everything about this thing is so amazing so great job on yet again a really amazing piece next coming from craig's modeling corner haven't seen you in a while so good to see you back uh let's say i can now say that all the scenery work on this diorama finally done structure from fossil scale models uh, so what I believe it is, is it's a kit that you put together or you build and then you paint it yourself and accessorize it. And the foliage on this looks so realistic. Just look at all the details within all of these different types of grasses and rocks and what have you, little newspaper, the details with the flowers. I mean, this is just stunning work. It's so realistic that, I mean, I'm just blown away. The rocks that actually looks like a real rock amazing amazing work good to see you back i well maybe you've been around for a while still doing work i assume you have and i just haven't seen you so great job on this this one's coming from the mat cave it's coming from from the mat cave uh eurozoia house complete i don't know what that is uh no gritty details or weathering on this one uh it's for anime figures I like the structure of this. It looks super nice. I love these, the, uh, oh, what do you call it? The shingles throughout here. I'm wondering here, this panel and this panel, is that meant to be a sign at some point? Um, and I'm wondering, cause it's blank. I feel like there would be something there, like a sign. So let us know what's supposed to be there. I love this piece. I love the look of it, the uh, the structure of it. It looks so cool. I'm just, I'm mesmerized, not mesmerized. I'm, I'm really intrigued about this. Now, when you do a picture, you could certainly crop that out and put, a, put whatever you want in there. I don't know, I don't know. I gotta know, let us know. How many times can I say no? <laughs> All right, great job. This next one's coming from Diorama 118. Oh, I should translate this one as well. It is awesome. Their work is so cool looking. Uh, let's see, translate, translate, translate. It's not translating. Why? Oh, there it is. See translation. Two artwork next to each other. That's all it says. Dang it. <laughs> I really like these little buildings. They do this. Uh, they've got like a whole street sort of block or a couple of blocks worth of buildings that they've got with these little, I think it's one, let's see, 118. It can't be 118 scale. Maybe it is 118 scale. What size is um, Matchbox cars? I don't know if these are meant. Okay, anyway, I'll stop blabbing on. I really like the paintwork on here. The weathering on that looks awesome. This sign, great looking. The, the uh, architecture that you did with this, such clean lines, looks so good, so great job. Next, coming from VHB Collectibles. They just made a new dio for their classic collection turtles. Uh, great display option for this. Be able to put them all right up here. We've got a little bit of a the uh, sewer area. It's drained. I'm wondering if you'd ever consider doing uh, a resin 
to fill that out. Obviously you don't have to because what you did here is very cool. It's drained already and uh, at least I think, let's see if there's a closer up, yep. So it's basically, oh wait, maybe, I can't tell. It looks like it's supposed to be drained but that might be some sort of resin. I'm not sure. I might have mistaken this for being a drained and it is. Let us know in the comments. I would love to know. Very nice looking piece and it's going to be awesome to be able to display your turtles. Next up coming from Mighty Kane. This is, I believe, another piece for the tiny art experiment. So let's see. Uh, won't somebody please think of the children? All of these pups have been successfully adopted with the three remaining on Tatooine under the care of tiny art experiment. Further litters will be posted as soon as possible. So these are uh, for the tiny art experiment that we've already talked about a little bit. And these are, I forget, uh, their baby um, Rancor. They're baby Rancors. And this is just, he made these and it's amazing. They're painted so well. Holy crap. That is awesome. This tiny art project is just going to be so epic. I cannot wait to see what it's going to look like all together with everybody's little projects. I mean, this is so cool. So great work. This one's coming from V2 Garage, Black Market, Love 112 scale, swipe for details, order or price via DM. So if this is something that you are interested in, make sure that you DM them. This is superbly done. I love all of the details. You've got some nice greenery up on the roof there. The uh, graffiti tagging looks awesome. The structure of this is so good. There's so many different little uh, details throughout. You can see a one long uh, paint swipe that someone did across the entire thing. Looks awesome. I'm wondering if that's airbrushed. It sure looks like it must have been airbrushed. I just am so impressed with you guys this week. Everybody's just putting together amazing, amazing work. I just really love it. This next one's coming from Dioramas Goter, Gorter underscore EC. This is a pretty cool looking piece. I, I'm not usually a... Uh, uh, what do we call it? A horror fan. Like I don't watch a lot of horror stuff other than I guess you could say Predator is horror. But this is a really nice looking piece. It's Friday. What are we calling it? It's a Friday. Um, is this Friday? Friday the 13th? I don't remember. I don't know any. I, I know that I've seen it before. I'm pretty sure it's so it's Jason Voorhees, Friday the 13th. Um, very nice looking piece. I love the little accessories with the pitchfork and all that. The sign looks awesome. I think this this must be from uh, the NECA um, figure. I think that comes with it. I think this comes with it as well. Uh, so this just looks really nice. I love the little timbers that you got up there. And then the planks also looks awesome. Nice little crack there. So great job on this piece. Next, coming from Mark.Krug.75, progress on the Japanese house. So I think we showcased this last week. Uh, he's added some more details and weathering, and wow, the skill on this is so amazing. Just look at the weathering on that door. It looks so good. I mean, wow, this looks so realistic. Wow, I, I'm saying wow a lot, because it's so well done. Look at that. That is superbly done. I love that blue that's still trying to hang on for dear life, saying, no, I'm not gonna completely weather off and, and be gone, but one day, all that blue will be gone. It'll be gone, and it looks so good. Wow, amazing job. Next up is this one coming from BJ, Bjarn Dolly. I don't know if I got that remotely close. Uh, let's see, well, it's not the easiest thing to photograph, but here it is. Preview of the next tile for their Necromunda table. Uh, not sure if this is, okay, so it's Warhammer. Necromunda, this is, this one will be a bridge leading up to the huge doors, acting as a connecting or entry point to the table. I'm already seeing so many possibilities for cinematic struggles across it. I'm just really impressed with this. I'm not sure how big it is. There's so much cool stuff going on here. I don't know that what you've got going on here was intended to be part of this. I have no idea. It's one picture. I wanna know more. I just have to go to your profile and check out your other pictures. Uh, I'm, I'm really intrigued by Warhammer stuff. I share it as much as I possibly can. I don't know anything about the game. I've never played it before. I I really should. I should. I haven't. I gotta know more, but I'm really impressed with this. It's so detailed and it looks so cool. So great job on this. Can't wait to see even more. 
Next, coming from Al Figures out of Boston, Massachusetts. This is another alleyway diorama, 16 inches across, 11 inches deep, 12 inches tall, made out of insulation, etc., etc., etc. And this looks so good. It is awesome. It's so cleanly done. If you're not familiar with who Al Figures is, where the heck have you been? Obviously, you need to be a member of the Dial Structure Group. I believe he, I, don't quote me, but I think he's one of the original creators of that group, possibly. Don't beat me if I'm wrong. Um, but he's basically one of the OG diorama creators in the action figure world, uh, the ACBA world and all of that. So uh, amazing work. I'm glad I found it. Uh, for whatever reason, Instagram does not show his account that often to me. Uh, in my feed and I don't know I don't know why but he does great work so awesome awesome job this next one is coming from lidscapes let's see haven't shared this one in a while I think this is actually a relative okay it's one week ago so not that old uh, at first glance I didn't know what I was looking at and then I took a little bit closer look and this looks to be otherworldly and this looks like some sort of like moon landing rover or something like that and there is this weird creature with tentacles that is likely about to smash this thing i love all the little colors that you've got throughout here the different foliage uh it, it's awesome with the purples and the greens and the yellows it's just so cool and then the background that you've got of kind of a star sort of uh galaxy image it looks awesome it's very unique it's tiny you can see that little thing just a teensy tiny little thing i'm wondering if you hand um, sculpted this or whatever it is because it is very very tiny looking it's one of those fun kind of shadow box sort of style uh, display pieces that you could hang up on the wall and I'm really digging on it next coming from bugle studios the forces gathered Angela uh, his forces squabbled amongst each other in a cloud of stink and noise and the stupid brute can only train his single hideous eye upon me my dread lord chose well in Argamedes, eh, Toad? His loyalty is clear as he awaits my word. See that yours is the same. I don't know what this is from. In the name of Dreadlord Mandibulus. What is that from? Mythic Legions? So these are myth Mythic Legions figures. At first I thought it was uh, Lord of the Rings. I don't know what it is. I mean, I know it's Mythic Legions. Uh, anyway, really digging on this piece. I love all of the cracks in the stones. That looks so good. The paintwork on here looks great. The little bits of foliage, I'm guessing this is uh, probably aquarium, uh, like those plastic aquarium plants that you can get. Uh, I just really dig this piece. I was going to showcase it last week, but you had another piece that I wanted to showcase as well. So this one got pushed back to this week. I don't do that a lot um, where I'll hold them hold them back for a week but sometimes I do when I really like the piece I like this tree that you've got here it looks awesome some nice greenery up at the top this piece is really big it's a really good sized diorama so very very nicely done next is coming from iron toys and oh I thought this was gonna be in English uh, we got something Tartugas is that Ninja Turtles so we got TMNT but those aren't Ninja Turtles in there um, so yeah, this is obviously Ninja Turtles diorama. It looks to be that it is split in two, which is cool. I think that might give you an option. What is it? Wait a second. What did I miss? Now all of a sudden it's a completely different diorama. Does it have a back? It must, or it's two different dioramas. I don't know. I like it. I like the, uh, the graffiti that you've got on here. Is it flippable? I gotta know more, because this is fully module. It appears. I am so intrigued. So interesting. Usually I try and research and, and actually do a little bit of looking on each of these. I must not have gone through these pictures. Very cool. Great idea. This next one's coming from Turtle Boy 83, Master Splinter's Lair. Finally finished. Thank you, NECA, for this line. Yes, thank you to NECA for making the cartoon line. I'm pretty sure this is for the cartoon line. Uh, yeah, because it's got the, 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 the little mat. Love the way that this turned out, but especially this window or the screen. That looks so good with the light diffuse coming through that. This looks to be, it looks like one of those little IKEA hanging lights. That is 
is awesome. Some great accessories in this piece to go along with some really nice paintwork, some great sculpt work with the, uh, the blocks that you've got there, especially the floor, the concrete really looks like real concrete. So great work on yet again, another amazing diorama. This one is coming from BTMA Cart Fisherman's Wharf 135th scale with lighting. Uh, this is one of those uh, dioramas that you can hang up on your wall. I, I really like this kind of diorama. It's so cool. It's something that can, um, uh, could be displayed in anybody's house, whether they're action figure, you know, fans, or even if they're, whether they're diorama fans or not, doesn't really matter because this is kind of like a picture art sort of display and it brings it all together. And I just love the way that it looks. The skill on this piece, I mean, he's got just superb diorama skills. The brickwork that you've got kind of uh, hidden underneath the stucco or whatever sort of material that would be. The weathering, you can see some great like water staining that's happened on here. The war for the dock looks amazing. You got some cool things underneath, which is so amazing. I'm just I'm just blown away by it. And look at that, we got some lighting. You got a nice little golden light coming through this window. And then this little guy lighting up the entryway. This is so cool. I, I'm just kind of jealous. I'm jealous of this. It's so amazing looking, so great job. And then last but not least, coming from Fan.Orama, Godzilla Emerging Diorama. And this thing is super cool. I love the water effect that you've got here. And this again is similar to El Chambo's where you're framing it in in a circular pattern, but it's not straight. It, it is continuing the texture of whatever material it is that we'd be working with. But you're using this to frame in the water, which is amazing. These, uh, the white caps, are looking so good with Godzilla coming up under from the water to grab this submarine with a little bit of flame effect from it being bitten and exploding. I mean, this is just an epic looking piece. I love the way that this turned out. It is so well done with the paintwork around the stone here. It's just so, so impressive. So great job. Thank you to everybody who participated this week. Alrighty, there you have it folks. I hope you enjoyed this showcase of dioramas. It is amazing to see such great talent week in and week out. I hope you enjoyed what I picked this week. Amazing talent. Thank you to everybody who uses that hashtag. It always helps to make the show a little bit easier to put together week in and week out. Uh, again, make sure that uh, you post that secret message down in the comments if you discovered what it was. Uh, don't cheat and just go to the comments and find whoever found it because maybe someone will post it wrong. I don't know. There's no there's no prize or anything. It's just something fun to do. Uh, this coming month in June, I've got summer classes. So I don't know what my schedule is going to be like, but I'm going to do my best to try and put out some episodes. Uh, We'll see how it goes. We'll play it by ear. So there you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe, the bell notification. Share the video. Uh, you know, put a note on a carrier pigeon to send out to your friends to let them know that they should watch the show. And I'll see you in the next episode.